Well, normally, you guys ask the questions, I try to get your answer out on video, right? Now I want to ask you a question. I'm going to make this video entirely to ask you guys your opinion, because I'm really very, just curious to hear um, your input and your takes on this. I'd love to see if anybody else relates to me on this subject, or if I'm just alone in this. Or if anybody else has any different experiences in general. Okay, so I'm going to ask this question. I want you guys to answer. You guys can definitely answer in the comments for sure. And it'll definitely help other people who see this video, you know, see the, the public input. But I really want to get your answers on the Nick Wright Bodybuilding Facebook page. That's the big open group page. That's where you guys can even share your own videos and your own photos of yourselves if you want to. It's open. It's all about expanding bodybuilding. But that's where I'm at all the time. If you have questions or you ever want to talk to me, Nick Wright Bodybuilding on Facebook is where I'm at. So I'd love to hear your answers. Just go on that Nick Wright Bodybuilding page, leave me your answer in a comment. All right. And my question to you is this. Well, first off, a little background info. All right. My bench press. My pressing in general, shoulder pressing, bench press. Well, my bench press was my weakest, weakest lift forever. It makes sense that, you know, my chest is currently my my major lagging point <laughs> physique-wise, but Go figure, my bench press was my lagging point. Now, freshman year of high school, I weighed 104 pounds. I could blow away in the wind. I had 11 and a half inch arms. I was tiny. On top of that, from wrestling and just different, different sports, I had elbow problems galore. Tendinitis, I just had crazy elbow problems. So between uh, just my structure, obviously my, my narrow frame, short torso, long arms, in comparison to my body, that's gonna set me up for a weak bench as it is. Anybody with my build is going to have weaker pressing movements. I'm pretty strong in all the pulling movements. I have a really strong, you know, barbell row. My deadlift's strong. My squat's strong. So if you have my build, you'll probably be strong in your pulling areas, but your pressing movements may be a little bit weaker. Anyway, my bench press was ridiculously weak. I'm talking kids in freshman year, first time ever bench pressing, were maxing out at least 25s on the bar, right? Some people were, like, astounding and put 45s on the bar, and that would get everybody's head turning like, oh, my gosh. Dude, my first time maxing out, 60 pounds. My first time in the gym, I put 10 on either side of the bar. That's like 65 pounds. And that was like a halfway down, crooked on the way up, barely making it, one rep max. 65 pounds. <laughs> Needless to say, I did every muscle group in the school weight room except for chest. Forget that. So... As the years progressed, kids shot up. They just practiced their bench press and their numbers went right up, right? Sophomore year, the kids that started off with 95 were jumping right into 135 and going up to 155. And, you know, people just progressing fast. A year later, a year later, 15 years old, right? I've been do doing this for a year. I've even stepped on stage already at this point. My squat went all the way up to 315. But my bench press, a year later, I was maxing out 105. Sloppy as can be. <laughs> My bench was so weak. <sighs> All right. That was only halfway. Whatever, I'll try it again. Stayed not doing chess <laughs> in the weight room. Save that for at home. All right. The following year, my junior year, 16 years old, two years of training, two competitions under my belt, big lifts, big rows. People were starting to notice I was filling out a little bit, a little bit. I finally max out 115. I get the 35s in the bar for the first time. That, that was big because the, the 35s were like the big plates. And uh, I maxed it out for one, one sloppy rep before Thanksgiving break. By the end of my junior year, I think I maxed out. I got to like, finally got to like, I broke that 140 pound mark for my body weight, and that was huge to me. You know, because I was like that 104, 105, 100. I was in the 10 range forever. Um, and then I finally hit that 140 mark, and that was just big. That was like, whoa. And people know I started filling out. And I finally hit that 205 mark. And it was sloppy. I don't even think I went all the way down. But it was sloppy, but I did it. 205, 210. And then by senior year, you know, I finally got the two plates on either side, 225. And from there, my strength started going up normally. Well, now my bench press is plenty strong. My bench press is, I could throw that up there with my regular lifts. I could say my bench press is my strong lift, really, and nobody would know the difference. You know, I'm bench pressing, um, I came just shy of 345 this year in my offseason at 190 pounds. That's not a bad bench press for, you know, being 19, 20 years old, all natural. I think it was 20, it's 20 years old. Um, you know, and it's right up there with the rest of my lifts, my squat, you know, my barbell row, my deadlift. Anyway, my question for you, it's getting there. Now I'm dieting, 
all right? And I cut. Obviously, I went on a calorie deficit, dropped my numbers down, and I dropped weight. Now, most of the strength loss you get when you cut is mental. A lot of people psych themselves into believing it. You're not going to lose that much strength. But when you lose weight, especially if you were heavier before and you shift into a weight loss in a decent amount of time, you're going to lose some strength. It's inevitable. Now, check this out. This was me bench pressing just a few months ago before I started dieting, weighing 190 pounds in the offseason. Well, now I'm down to 171 pounds after about six or seven weeks of dieting. My measurements are still fairly the same. I'm holding on to all my muscle. All my lifts, went, my strength went down a little bit, of course. I just dropped more weight. I don't have as much water cushion in me, my joints anymore. I just don't have the weight behind me. So, yes, all my strength went down. But it went down very moderately. Like, for instance, um, squat day. Let's say normal working set. I go up to, like, 315, right, for a full set. Now I might do 315 and get it for, like, half a set. So, like, I can still do the same weights. I just can't get them as easily or as many reps now. That's the difference in the strength change. Not huge. However, my bench press, all my pressing movements dropped way down. Check this out. This is today at 171 pounds. felt like 325 to me now what's up with that my presses my genetic weak point the weakest link that got hit the hardest so my question to you guys is a little bit of history about Nick Wright and his pressing my question to you guys is does anybody else find this pattern I find when when dieting when I drop my calories you lose strength to an extent you can maintain it pretty well nothing too dramatic some lifts you don't even notice a strength loss at all but then for me my genetic weak points, the points that took me the longest and the most effort to finally build up to strength, they get hit the hardest. Those points are the ones that just drop the fastest and the hardest, particularly the pressing movements. My shoulder press suffers right now as well, but you guys saw the difference in my bench press. 225 now feels like 280, and 275 now feels like 325. That's a big difference in the pressing, and it's, I think it's because that's genetically my weak point. That's genetically the point that was the weakest out of all my lifts that I've had to work the hardest to try to compensate for. So my question is, does anybody else find this pattern? When you guys cut down, you guys go in that calorie deficit, when you guys drop weight, do, do you guys, A, notice any strength loss at all? How much? And B, most importantly, the main question here is, do you notice most of your strength lost in your genetically weakest areas? Do you feel that your, your weak points uh, take the biggest toll here when you're cutting? Just curious. Just throwing it out there. My development's fine. My training's still amazing. And I'm just used to it. I'm just curious if anybody else shares this experience. So let me know, guys. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting there. Seven weeks into dieting. Using if it fits in your macros. I've gone from this. Oh, you should write in. <laughs> um, what am I weighing? 190. Trying to get well, it looks nice. Once I start dieting, it's f to this.
Now that white, that white light's horrible. That white light washes me up, made me look even puffy. I look like I'm slathering the cream cheese, but I'll get some real stuff for you guys soon. If you guys like the red shirts, you know where to get them. They're in the link in the info box. Thanks, guys. Love you.